the School of Aquaponics. Boom, Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is episode four of Ask the Aquaponics God. You've got the questions, and he's got the answers. This question here is coming from Amy out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Since the vegetables are grown using fish poop, wouldn't the vegetables have a fishy taste? So this question here is a question that used to irritate me when I hear people ask that question. I mean, it used to irritate me. I just remember, it just used to irritate me. Why? Because it just takes, it really takes the small amount, the smallest amount of thinking and the smallest amount of common sense in order to answer this question. But since there's a lot of people that do have this question, I'm going to go ahead and answer it and give sort of a um, uh, more of a not so much of a brief, but more of an extended answer to this question. And for a lot of people out there that are getting into aquaponics, give you um, the kind of the information needed in order to answer this question, because somebody is going to ask you this question. Somebody's going to ask the question before they even think about it, what they're actually ans uh, asking. They're going to ask, ask it to you. And you're going to have to be able to give them some type of response. So, so but before, uh, let me ask you a question. Does, what about the vegetables that, that, that you eat? Have you tasted any vegetable that tastes like, uh, tastes like a cow? Maybe tastes like cow manure. When's the last time that, that, that you tasted that? This is what a lot of times my response is to a lot of people who ask that question. Like when's the last time you tasted a lettuce that had a hint of cow manure in it? Never, because that's not the way it happened. And cow manure is used a lot as a, um, as a source of nutrients in order to fertilize plants. So let's go into the, uh, the breakdown on how the plants are supplied nutrients through the fish waste. So the fish need a feed source. They find a feed source and th the reason that they're eating is to obtain nutrients to build up organic structures inside of their own body so they can survive. This is the reason for eating. So what happens is a lot of times a feed source has excessive amount of nutrients that the fish does not need. It has excessive amount of nutrients that the fish does not need. So the fish has a homeostatic um, control mechanism inside of the body that regulates the nutrient level to, to ensure that it doesn't get to toxic levels. And what happens is the fish is excreting the excessive compounds and the excessive nutrients that it has inside of the body. And at that case, and in that time, plants are able to uptake these same nutrients because when you study biology you'll find out that all living things use the same nutrients require the same nutrients different in different ratios and different rates but pretty much the same nutrients are needed in all life so the plants excrete these nutrients or the the fish excrete so the fish excrete these nutrients the plants are able to uptake them so what happens is the plants uptake these nutrients and then they themselves go and build the organic structures they need these nutrients to build up the structure and to survive. And then what happens after they use them? You come along, yes, you come along, and then you eat the plant. You eat the plant, and then essentially you're doing the same exact thing. You're taking the nutrients, you're extracting the nutrients outside of the plant, outside of the vegetables, and you're using those nutrients to build organic compounds inside of your body so you can stay alive. And I'm pretty sure if someone were to come along you know, forbid that this happens, but if someone were to come along and eat you, they wouldn't say, I think I taste a hint of lettuce in her. I think I taste a hint of Swiss chard. That, like, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. All you're doing is extracting the nutrients out of the plant and you're using it to build yourself up. You're building, using it as a, as a source of energy. The, the plants are doing the same thing. They're taking the nutrients out of the fish waste because there's a lot of excess the, the excessive new uh, um, waste the excessive nutrients that are inside of the fish waste they're taking those nutrients out and they're just using that as a source to um to to produce energy to build um their structure and to survive that's all it is has nothing to do with tasting fishy or anything like that nothing to do with that and the same thing so after you've taken and you've eaten the plant now you have to um, excrete waste because your body, the, the plant has an excessive amount of whatever nutrient it may be that or, 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 or anything that the that your body's not able to digest is going to get rid of. 
And then what happens if you do say let's say let's say that you you just do it outside. You went and you just had to go so bad and there's no no restrooms around or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Or maybe you just like doing that. You went outside and then say some chickens came along and then they ate your you, ate your waste. If somebody went and ate this chicken, they're not going to hmm, hold on. I think this chicken tastes like Amy up the block. Like it's not that's not going to happen. So to ask the question if uh, aquaponic vegetables taste like fish poo or fishy. That's it's just a, a question that can be easily resolved if you just take the time to just think and just understand how life um, works around each other. And we're seeing these you're seeing this happening every day, all the time. You're seeing this happening um, where nutrients are being recycled and everything still tastes like itself. Le lettuce is still going to taste like itself, no matter if it got the nutrients from um, a cow, whether it got it from a giraffe, whether it got uh, the nitrogen or, or whatever source it got, whether it got it from Jupiter, like it don't, it doesn't matter. Long as it's like if it's a nitrogen source, if it's a nitrogen source, it doesn't matter where it came from. The plant sees it as a nitrogen source and it's gonna utilize that. So hopefully this answers your question. Um, I'm Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Toodles. <laughs>